In April 2014, landowner Alan Brunt decided to put up this big steel fence behind me after he was plagued by dog walkers. I've come to visit him in Froome to see how he's getting on. Alan, why did you build this fence? To protect myself and protect uh, people that wants to walk the, uh, the actual footpath. Um, I know that when people walk this footpath, they're walking in safety. They're not going to get knocked over with an animal, uh, whatever animal I got out here. I know that they, they can walk it and they're safe. And since you uh, put the fence up, um, what have you done with the fields? Well, we knew we wouldn't be able to put animals out there for the first 18 months because of all the dogs mess. Uh, so we, we just made it into hay. Uh, um, we do uh, small bale hay for people with horses. Um, and uh, that has proved successful. We've now just in the last two months uh, entered cattle onto the area. Um, and now it should be all clean and all okay. We've got our own alpacas on the field. Um, they've been on. They, they've been here the last last year, and again this winter. So and they're all okay. So hopefully it's all cleaned up and tidied up now. Some locals say the fence has ruined the landscape, but others have welcomed it. It's quieter. We've less dogs mess in the lane. We've got no dog walkers coming here half past five, six o'clock in the morning. And when I say dog walkers, I mean professional dog walkers with their vans parking up here with six, eight dogs at a time, slamming doors. It's been heaven. Everyone living in the area thinks it's marvellous. This is Philip Case reporting for Farmers Weekly in Froome. You know, so uh, that's what we did.